the Red Dragon Soul. It was once said that dragons didn't have a soul, but the Skyfire Palace that belonged to the dragons had fell. It was nothing left but ruins. Due to all the enemies they acquired, out of fear, out of hatred, and even out of love, was nothing left but the statues of the guardians that used to guard the Dragon Palace. Now I'm home to the wretched foul creatures of a serpent race. They now roam this ruins as the Dragon King still holds his tradition hard to himself. But one thing he vowed that he would take this land back, this sacred land of the dragons, for he has a dragon soul. He is not of the Ashton, which may have come from. One by one, he will take out the vile creatures of this land, slaughter them, kill them, and exhort their souls. The Red Dragon was a mighty warrior, defeated by none in his time. As the creatures fell down to his feet, he laid bodies to rest as he made his way up to the Dragon Throne. The sacred place is his rightful place and ruler of the Skyfire Palace. This is where he would meditate and ponder what happened to all the dragons, what happened to his brethren, his kin. Find out where the red dragon soul has went and have the dragon soul perished. For the sake of all dragons, something magical happened. Vader from the world of men have fallen to the Red Dragon, dropping and leaving something behind that will lead the dragon to the world of men, to a holy place, a cathedral, where the deacons, priests, pastors, and even the gods reside at. Dragon made his way through the big hall and the marble floors, and as he was going through, he noticed something. They also had statues of their heroes, of their guardians, the ones who made their place in this world holy. Statues to show the souls of men and women. So he decided to wait there in the courtyard, see if he'll be able to meet one of these men that will lead him to the answers as to why were all the dragons in his world destroyed. But what he'll soon find out and learn very, very fast that men do not have honor. They are evil from birth. And he realized there was a war waged from men against dragon. So this was 
four. Dragon was defeated in battle by a warrior, High Talon. They then brought him inside to one of their priestess so that he may find his answer that he came looking for. Inside her chamber, she was bedridden and couldn't move. Due to all the sins she was holding from all the men in her world. But the Red Dragon approached. He needed his answers and she would fulfill it. She did tell him to come closer and have a seat. And her name was Rosetta. Woman of Answers. So the three dragons sat down and listened to her. She told him that he must go back to his world if he wanted to find out what happened to all the dragons. So he did just that. Climbed up to where his great great grandfather was. And there he would meditate and pray so that his ancestors could get in touch with him so he would be able to meet one of the killers. The dragon spirits was telling him it was someone named Kurutu. Kurutu's a great warrior. Up here. For a fight. So, they fought. He still didn't get none of the answers he wanted. He went back to meditate on the throne as he waited for the ancestors to give him the sign and the answer. And while he was up there waiting, he realized he had heard a familiar voice, one that he knew, one that gave him one final answer to where to go to next. Was she right? 